What's going on YouTube? I'm back and today I'm bringing you a video where I had a great game on Gibraltar and I think that I really carried my teammates. It just felt like nothing else was happening offensively if it didn't happen through me. I mean, I don't say that to be cocky. I just say that because that's how it felt and I think that after you watch this, you might even agree with me. This video is actually going to be a commentary today and I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what I've been doing and what I plan on doing and how this how uh, season three has been going for me so far it's honestly been my best season of overwatch so far um, and I think this is because of two reasons um, mainly soldier 76 is actually really good now um, I actually used to have well I still have a 61% win rate with soldier 76 in comp and I got to top 500 with him when he was tier 3 there was McCree and then there was Reaper and they were both better than him and I was a Soldier 76 main and I was the, the type of player who didn't switch off. So yeah, I hate the fact that I used to be that guy because I hate players like that, but I won 61% of my games with Soldier when he was tier 3. So I think that I really learned how to play this game um, at a disadvantage and now that I'm playing tier 1 heroes, um, my ability to carry has definitely improved just because soldier used to actually suck I used to win 61% of my games with him and looking back on it I honestly don't know how it makes no sense because he had no um, burst damage only sustained damage so th the only reason that I ended up winning games with soldier 76 in, in um, season 1 and season 2 is because of my positioning a lot of people have told me with soldier 76 that's the thing that they um, notice the most about me is how I move with Soldier 76, where I position myself, and just my map movement and awareness in general. That's always actually been my strength in FPS games. A lot of you guys um, probably don't know, but I used to be a huge Halo player back in the day. Um, even after Halo died, I still stayed um, just because I loved the game so much. And I was definitely one of the best Halo players probably in Canada. I mean, that doesn't mean anything because back then Halo Halo was really dead. So it's, it's kind of like saying you're the, you're the big fish in the small pond. But even in Halo, uh, my weakness was actually my shot. I didn't have the best accuracy, but I always knew where to be. And I was always in the right place at the right time. And I think Soldier 76 is a lot like... Um, playing Halo for me at least because in Halo you have shields and once you get in a fight or you, you take damage you get out of the fight and then you get your shields back and then you can fight again Soldier 76 is kind of the same way in the sense with his biotic field if you get really weak all you have to do is leave the fight for one second press E and then you heal back up in Halo, this would be the equivalent to just hiding until your shields come back. So I think that's one of the reasons I was so good at Soldier 76 right out of the box. is because I played Halo probably for 13 years straight. And it's, de it's definitely my most favorite game of all time. So now that Soldier 76 is actually Tier 1, and he is so much better than Reaper, and game-to-game -game basis, he's so much better than McCree. Um, McCree is still valuable, there's no doubt about it. If you're a really good player and you can hit consistent headshots, um, he's still really good, there's no doubt, but Soldier 76 just brings more more to the table. So I currently love where Overwatch is at, but like I said, I am biased because I love Soldier 76. I'm trying to add Zarya to my hero pool. I'm really inconsistent with Zarya right now. I have really good games, and then I have some really bad games. Um, I have more good games than bad, but every once in a while I just throw up a big stinker. And it feels bad, because I hate doing bad. I hate being the reason that my team loses. Um, I hate being the reason that my team struggles, um, cause just because I am such a competitive person, and I hold myself to such a high standard that... It's kind of hard for me to expand my hero pool, um, not in a matter of ability, but just because I hate losing so much. And if I play Soldier 76, it's going to give our team the best chance to win. 
So I don't want to play Zarya because I want to win every single game. But for the long term, it would be beneficial if I practiced with Zarya. So I love where um, comp is at right now. And I'm improving at Overwatch um, every single day. Um, I've been going to the practice range a lot lately which i've never done before because i always just thought oh like I'll, I'll just improve just by playing a lot and it's true you do have to um play a lot but you know one thing i've been doing lately and it's really helped my my aiming is when i get online i just go to the practice range for 10 or 12 minutes i don't time myself but it's usually around 10 or 12 minutes i just go really hard i go i select mccree and then I try to do like 360 shots on the bots and really intense hard whip shots um, where I look away and then look back and try to crit the bot and then look look away really fast and then look back really fast and hit a headshot again and again and again until my wrist muscles actually start to get sore and fatigued and then that's usually when I stop but I start out with McCree and then I go to Hanzo and then I go to Tracer and then I finish it off with some Soldier 76. And then once I jump into my first game of the day, my shot is already really warm and I'm ready to go. And I actually have a pretty crazy game coming up. It's my first game of the day and I end up getting 71 eliminations and 50,000 damage. Um, that video is gonna be dropping here shortly, but uh, that was definitely the best game I ever played. And I don't know if it's just coincidence, but it happened right after the um, my second day of going to the practice range. So if you guys don't go to the practice range, I would definitely recommend doing it. Because um, I used to think that it wouldn't help me much. But it really does. Even though those bots don't actually um, accurately represent the competition online. Because their movement is really predictable. It still helps a lot just in terms of your reflexes. And just getting your shot warmed up, getting a good feel for your mouse. Um, you could also probably play um, Osu. It would probably do the same thing. Just to, you know, get that um, mind-muscle connection in your nervous system to um, your wrist and your aimer. Um, so if you don't do that, I would definitely start doing that. And one more, th and not one more thing, but another thing that I want to talk about is a lot of people have been requesting that I make a Soldier 76 um guide or like a tips and tricks video and i would love to do this but if i do do it i want it to be really useful and i want it to be good so i don't know how i should go about it i could do it like a voiceover like this but then i couldn't stop it and then go back and then um re-watch certain situations so i was thinking i could do it as a voiceover like this or I could do a live commentary in quick play because even when I play quick play, I'm usually playing against um, grandmaster players. So it would still be useful. I could do a live commentary where I tell you guys what I'm thinking on the fly. And the more I think about it as I'm talking right now, I might even just do that in a comp game. I would definitely have to do that solo queue because I don't think my teammates would appreciate it. But I could just tell you guys what I'm thinking and where I'm going on the fly. And I tried to do it once before, but it was so distracting that my performance went way down. But I could just um, take a risk and do it one of these games and see how it works out. Because even if I win or lose, I think that the tips that I can give you guys and my perspective would still be really valuable. And that's one more thing. If I do make a tips and tricks video, would you guys want it to be in a win? Or in a loss or does it not matter because I don't because I, I don't think that it would be good if I did it in a stomp because if the game's a stomp then even like Sombra would probably work which should never happen so the things I do in the video wouldn't necessarily be accurate so I've been I've been thinking about it a lot and like I said I want to do it right if I do do it but I just don't know how to go about it yet so if you guys can answer those questions I just asked you down in the chat below, or I mean down in the comments, I would love to hear what you guys think because I'm going to make the Soldier 76 guide. It's just a matter of how, it's just a matter of how and when. I don't know, um, 
when it will be coming out but i want to make it, i want to make it come out probably um definitely in january this month but i really want it to be useful so i'm really going to take my time on it it's probably going to be edited over multiple days um like i said i think that it has the potential to be really useful and to get a lot of views on youtube so i'm really gonna um approach it with a very careful um reverence this is a game where i was thinking about doing the voiceover for my soldier 76 tips and tricks video but like i said i don't really um know how to do it on the fly so like i said if you guys um have watched other tips and tricks videos um let me know what you found most useful because i would love to hear it so i can make a good video and i'm gonna start streaming soon and i'm gonna post my twitch in this in down below in the comments it's twitch.tv slash world and i've tried streaming a couple times but i only have like 13 followers or something so i end up sitting there for like an hour and it feels kind of lonely and then i just stop streaming because i feel bad so i want you guys to help me build up my twitch following first so then you guys can know when i go live and then maybe i won't sit there all by my lonely and um just keep staring back at my second monitor looking at the chat and seeing no comments or anything it's kind of disheartening so once again follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash boreums world um, I, it means so much to me because I would love to also grow on Twitch because I've been growing on YouTube and your guys' support has honestly been incredible. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'm going to let the rest of this game play out and I want you guys to notice how I end this game. It's huge. I make this really good play where I rocket jump across the edge and get behind their whole team where I use my ultimate and that's definitely something that i'm going to talk about in my tips and tricks video in the future so thank you so much for watching and have a nice day she's low i have it i have it oh. all right anna give me the juice when the time comes all right give me it i've got you in my sights you're called up get in i'm feeling unstoppable <laughs> They're not even peeking. Maybe take high ground, take this advantage? Yeah, definitely. Since they have a mage, let's just not even go under. They have a Roadhog. Yeah, we hooks. gotta push it though. I'll, I'll yeah. stay on the payload. Yeah, go get that on a roof. Oh, oh Roadhog's down beneath. He's low. Down beneath. Can you use left shift? Oh, god. Back out, we need to regroup. Don't die here. Back out, back out. Roadhog's up on top, looking for a hook. Roadhog's lit, Roadhog's lit. Oh. Ryan crashed, Ryan crashed, Ryan crashed. They're gonna be pissed off that. Oh, Lee. I fucking rage quit on the point. What? Lucio asleep on cart, on cart. Yeah, push, on cart. push May... cart, push cart, push cart. May on cart, may on cart. Yeah. Oh, fucking Mooney. That's a DC. God, that's brutal. Good game, though. Four to three. How did the soldier not get the game? Because he just finished everyone. Reinhardt did a shit ton of damage there. <laughs>